Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video today, as the title suggests, we're going to be discussing the One Stop Immigration Service Center, uh, specifically the reason why some people are allowed to use it and other people are not allowed to use it. Um, the One Stop Service Center is a significant benefit to those who are operating here in the kingdom. As anyone who's ever processed a B visa extension or a work permit or work permit extension can probably tell you, dealing with immigration can be a little bit trying. Um, the lines are relatively long down at the Chang Watton Immigration Office here right, right inside Bangkok city limits. The, there are a lot of people that are seeking uh, visa approval or seeking visa benefits. Um, there's a lot of people down there. Um, and in the B visa unit specifically, um, there are generally a number of applicants on every day on a daily basis. So why is there sort of these two systems? Why do we have the regular system and we have the one-stop system? Well, it's to incentivize greater investment in the kingdom. Um, it's to incentivize larger enterprises in the kingdom. Um, there are a number of reasons, uh, but basically who's eligible for one-stop? Generally speaking, uh, large cap companies, so companies with over 20 million bought and registered capital, even if they don't have BOI, are generally going to be uh, able to utilize the uh, functions at the One Stop Service Center. Meanwhile, BOI promoted companies, even if they don't have a large registered capital such as 20, uh, 20 million baht, if they meet certain requirements from BOI, such as technological exchange, um, or they're bringing in a type of service that Thailand wishes to encourage within the economy, um, they may receive BOI certification. And once BOI certification is issued, part of that certification may include usage of the One Stop Service Center. This can be an incredible boon because the One Stop Service Center is quite literally what its name implies. You deal with your immigration and labor matters in one place. Um, also, you're not dealing with a huge throng of people um, when going through the lines dealing with immigration. It's, it's a relatively straightforward process. Usually takes a couple of hours at one stop to go ahead and get everything sorted out, uh, provided all documentation is provided. Um, whereas Thai immigration, and this is not a critique of Chang Watana or the business visa unit down there, but quite frankly, they have a lot of caseload. And they're mostly dealing with smaller enterprises uh, quite frankly, I think one of the big concerns amongst Thai immigration officials down there is that these enterprises are genuine, that the applicants are not uh, basically just trying to use subterfuge to remain in the kingdom without a valid reason for doing so. And I think that moving forward, and as I've seen in the past, immigration officers down there heavily scrutinize the applications associated with BB's status. Um, they do scrutinize those same applications at one stop, but you're dealing with a different level of business and you're dealing with much more uh, foreign investment being brought into the kingdom, generally speaking, or you're dealing with a technological exchange that the Thai powers that be, if you will, want encouraged within the economy. So for that reason, there's this differentiation. To those who would be critical of this system, I would say that although some criticism is probably warranted, I would also say on the other side of the coin, having dealt with U.S. immigration matters over the past years, I can say that there is some differentiation within our sort of, for lack of a better word, business visa unit uh, going to the United States. And what are we talking about here? Well, there's a marked difference uh, between EB-5 benefits versus E-2 benefits. Uh, an investor in an E-2 that usually tends to get an E-2 visa, that individual generally has to show a lower threshold of minimum investment into the United States. Um, they're not, they're gonna be more heavily scrutinized with respect to how that investment works. There's not gonna be a sort of a preset program that generally tends to exist in EB-5 matters, although one does not generally need to use uh, some of these EB-5 programs in order to seek EB-5 benefits. Um, but that being said, the E-2, it's, it's more difficult to deal with. One generally has to come back in shorter intervals back to Thailand if they're seeking an E-2 out of Thailand in order to reprocess a new visa. These matters don't come up with the EB-5 because once granted, the EB-5 provides lawful permanent residence in the United States. Now, again, the EB-5 requires a larger threshold of investment into the United States in order to be granted benefits. So while I would say that the systems are not totally parallel in their details of operation, 
Um, I think that some parallels can be drawn between, say, the U.S. immigration system and the Thai immigration system insofar as you have these two sort of tracks when you're dealing with the business visa units um, related to how big the underlying uh, business enterprise is, what it's doing in the country. Is it bringing in a number of jobs? Is it bringing in a kind of technology that has as yet not been in particular uh, in particular um, great wide usage or wide understanding within the kingdom. These are economic things. These are economic factors that, as again, the establishment here wants to go ahead and encourage. And in doing so, they incentivize those who would come in from abroad and invest and do business here through use of, of mechanisms such as the one-stop service center that they may not otherwise incentivize in sort of SMEs or just small sort of one-man band kind of operations where it's generally you know, a one foreigner operation and they have, you know, four, five, six ties working for them, a relatively small SME. Um, it's simply just not going to be as incentivized. They want to see um, more economic activity brought to the kingdom, more technological exchange brought to the kingdom. And in doing so, they're going to incentivize that activity uh, by providing benefits such as the one-stop service center.